What's up guys, it's Drax here. Today I'm gonna show you guys on how to make this red joggers invisible torso outfit for your male character. So for the first part, I'm gonna show you guys on how to get the red joggers, but your friend needs to do this part. So what your friend needs to do is have him call in his MOC. So if he doesn't know how to do that, I'll show you guys. So just tell him to pull up his interaction menu, go to services, go to mobile operation center and tell him to request his MOC. After he has done that, to just wait for it to spawn on the map. Once his MOC does spawn in on the map, you're then just gonna have your friend go to the back of his MOC and I'll go back to my MOC and I'll show you guys what your friend needs to do. Okay guys, so for the first part of this glitch, I'm gonna show you guys how you guys can get red joggers. So for the first part, you guys will need your friend to get an MOC. So after he does get an MOC, tell him to go to the job mission over here near the front of the trailer part in the MOC. So whenever you go here, just go ahead and access the op mobile operation centers, go ahead and hit login, and you will want your friend to start this mission right here, that's called work dispute. So whenever your friend does have this job, you guys will want to have your friend start it, and you will want to be the second player, so that's what I'm telling you guys, you guys need need to have your friend start the job, so make sure, make sure he's the host, you're the second player, so yeah, just go ahead and have your friend start up this work dispute, and I'll just get back to you whenever I do load into the job. Once you go ahead and join your friend on the work dispute job, then you guys can just have your friend just go ahead and start the job. So whenever you go ahead and load in, you guys will see that you guys spawn in a plane and you are wearing the red joggers. Now you guys can just go ahead and head to your apartment. So whenever you start at your apartment, you will need an explosive. So whenever you guys have an explosive, just go ahead and walk into the blue circle. After you walk into the blue circle, then just go ahead and blow yourself up. After you blow yourself up, then you guys are able to just run back into your apartment and then you should be able to enter your apartment just like this. Whenever you guys go ahead and get inside your apartment or house, you guys are just going to want to go over here and head to your closet area. So whenever you just go ahead and see in the top left hand corner where it says change clothes, just go ahead and hit right on the d-pad. And you're just going to want to go ahead and change any accessories on the outfit. So I'm just going to go ahead and change the gloves real quick. After you guys change an accessory on the outfit, then you can just walk out of your closet. And then after you guys do that, just go ahead and pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone. Whenever you guys go ahead and load back into a session after you guys left the job, you should see that you're wearing the outfit with the red joggers. Now that you guys are wearing the outfit, now we're just going to go ahead and create the outfit in the thumbnail. So I'll just get back to you whenever I do get to the clothing. So when you have made it to the clothing store with the red joggers outfit, walk over here to, to the top section, scroll down until you find designer t-shirts, which will be on slot 32. And you're going to look for the black print t-shirt on slot 59. After you do equip the black print t-shirt back out of designer t-shirts, and you're going to scroll up until you find denim jackets. Denim jackets will be on slot six, and you're going to look for the red denim on slot 23. After you do equip this denim jacket and the designer t-shirt back out of your tops, we don't need to worry about the pants since we already do have the red joggers. Now walk over here to your accessories, click on chains on slot one and equip the silver bar pendant on slot six. Once you do have this chain back out, go to gloves on slot seven and equip the black woolen gloves on slot 58. After you have the black woolen gloves and the chain, that's all for your accessories. Now for the shoes, go to arena war shoes on slot 14 and look for the black and red light ups on slot 37. When you do have the black and red light ups, arena war shoes, back out of your shoes and now take off any head accessories that your character does have so you can just take it off through your interaction menu. Now when your character looks exactly like mine, you can walk up here to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits and just save your outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save your outfit, back out of your edit saved outfits, scroll down through your clothing until you find heist coveralls on slot 13. Scroll down from slot 9 through slot 12 and equip one of these outfits with the toxic mask. When you've done this, back out of the front counter. And now we're going to head over here to the pier for the telescope glitch. After you find a telescope on the pier, just do the telescope glitch. So run by the telescope like this, press right on the d-pad. You'll see that your character runs in place, then looks towards the telescope to tell you now you're glitched. Pull up your interaction menu, go to style, and equip the red joggers outfit that we just saved at the clothing store, which will look like this. Put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and you will see the mask merges over to your outfit. What we're going to do now is just head to a gun store. Once you make it to the gun store, walk over here to the top section, hit edit saved outfits and save your outfit on any slot that you want. After you have saved your outfit, you can then back out of your tops, and now we're going to start up a job. So hit pause, go to online, click on jobs, go to play job, click on rockstar created, click on missions. Look for the job that's called a Titan of a job and fully start up that mission. And when you load into the mission, you will see that your torso is invisible like this. Now go back over here to your tops, hit edit saved outfits and save your outfit on any slot that you want. After you have saved your outfit, you can back out of your tops, 
Now pull up your phone and just quit the job from your phone. Okay guys, whenever you are back in a public or an invite only session, run back inside the gun store. Now you're gonna equip an outfit that has a belt. So if you already have an outfit saved with the cop belt or a paramedic belt, you can go ahead and equip that outfit right now. If you don't, walk over here to the outfit section inside the gun store, go to Diamond Casino Heist on slot 51, and if you go to Group A Sex Gear on slot 20, you can equip one of these outfits with this type of belt. If you guys don't like them or if you don't have them unlocked, you can go to Maintenance on slot 18 and equip one of these outfits with this type of belt, or you can go to Prison Guards on slot 15 and equip one of these outfits with this type of belt. You do, have an, you do have to equip an outfit with a belt or else your torso will not stay invisible once you do the glitch. So after you do have an outfit with the belt, now we can do the merge glitch. So to do the merge glitch, there's one way, which I will leave a link in the description. You guys can bookmark that job and do that for the merge glitch. But for me, I'm gonna do the heist apartment merge. So I will get back to you when I am at my apartment. When you guys get to your apartment, go into the heist planning board room and go up here to the heist planning board. Out of all the five heists, select the first one, which is gonna be called the Fleek of Job. And then you're gonna to have to do the first mission, which is gonna be called Scope Out. And once you are on the second job, which is gonna be called Karuma, just launch that mission. When you're in the Kruma job, set your heist clothing to player saved outfits, and then you can confirm your settings and invite whoever you want, like a friend or a random. And when someone does join, just launch the job. Now that you're here where it shows your own outfits, scroll to the slot to wherever you did save the outfit, which will look like this, and just hit ready to play. All you need to do now is whenever you load into the mission, just pull up your phone and you can quit the job from your phone. Okay guys, after you are back in a public or an invite only lobby, you're going to find a car. It doesn't matter if it's your personal vehicle or a random civilian car on the street. Go ahead and get inside that car. Now pull up your interaction menu and register as a secure serve or a motorcycle club. After you do that, pull up your interaction menu up again, click on secure serve CEO or motorcycle club, then go to management, go to style, and on CEO style or MC style, scroll one time to the left and the one time to the right back to none. Now hop out of the car and then you will see that you guys have your red joggers outfit with the invisible torso with the belt that you wanted with the rest of your outfit so now all we're going to do is head over here to the mask store so we can get the head accessories for this outfit when you make it to the mask store walk over here to the hat section first and then go to combat helmets on slot 23 and you're going to scroll down until you find the red and black or the black and red quad lens on slot 25 now, after you've made sure you bought the black and red quad lens, you can back out of the hats, go over here to the mask, scroll down to crime on slot 9, and you're going to scroll down until you find the red bigness t-shirt on slot 15. Once you do equip the red bigness t-shirt, you can back out of the mask door. Now we're going to head over here to the pier, so then we can do the telescope glitch and merge the helmet over with the mask. After you make it to the pier and you find a telescope, do the telescope glitch. So run by the telescope like this, press right on the d-pad, you'll see that your character runs in place, then look towards the telescope, that's how you know you're glitched. Pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your accessories, and you're going to scroll through your helmets until you do find the black and red quad lens. You will see that your mask does come off, but you guys don't need to worry. Once you do find the black and red quad lens, put away your interaction menu, Walk away from the telescope and you will see that the mask merges over with the helmet just like this. And that's pretty much it for the outfit. So if you are wondering what it does look like in the pause menu, here you guys go. This is actually a pretty clean invisible torso for your male character. Now you can go to the clothing store, save it on whichever slot you want. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys did enjoy this glitched outfit for your male character. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.